All right, we're going to take a look at writing the tangent of an angle T uh, in terms of sine of an angle T, given that T is uh, in the interval negative 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi over 2. Uh, so that's quadrant 4, which means that the sine is going to be uh, negative. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll draw our reference triangle and make it look like it's in quadrant 4. So we have angle T, and remember the y coordinate, which is going to be the uh, the height of our triangle. That's going to be the sine of T. Uh, since we're on the we're doing the unit circle, um, this is going to be this is going to be the radius. So that's going to be one, um, and that's going to be our hypotenuse. And then we just need to find the missing angle A because the tangent is going to be the opposite side, which is the sine, over the adjacent side, which is going to be the the letter A. Okay, so a squared plus the uh, sine squared of t is going to equal to 1 squared. Okay, we'll solve for a, so we'll subtract sine squared, and then we'll take the square root. Um, we do get plus and minus, because, but because a is the x-coordinate, um, and it's on the positive side of the x-axis, it's going to be positive. So then when we write our tangent of t, it's going to be the opposite, which is the sine of t, over the uh, adjacent side, which is 1 minus uh, sine squared of t all under the square root. And you may think, well, that looks like it's positive. Well, in fact, uh, it's going to be negative, and that's because of the fact that the sine of t uh, is, is negative. Even though it looks like it's positive, it really isn't because that's where the angle's heel is. It's between uh, 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. Um, let's do one more example to kind of to, to, to bring home the point, hopefully. Um, so we're going to do another example. So we're going to write, again, we're going to do the write the tangent uh, of an angle T uh, in terms of cosine of, of an angle T. And uh, this time we will be uh, in quadrant 3. So we'll say the, the angle T lives between uh, pi and uh, 3 pi over 2. So we'll draw a, uh, and we'll mention again, so the cosine is in, uh, the, the angle is in quadrant 3, which means the cosine is going to be negative. Okay, so we'll draw a reference triangle and make it look like it's in, in quadrant 3. Uh, the cosine is going to be the x. Okay, so there's our cosine of t. Uh, and we're going to do tangent, so I need to do the opposite, which will be b this time, over the cosine of t. Uh, so we're assuming we're on the unit circle, so the radius or our hypotenuse here is going to be 1. So b squared plus the uh, cosine squared uh, t is going to be equal to 1 squared. We'll go ahead and subtract cosine squared uh, and then take the square root. And because we are in quadrant 2, I'm sorry, not quadrant 2, quadrant 3, the uh, y value is going to be negative. So when we normally take the square root, we get the plus and minus, but because b is in quadrant uh, 3, that means the y coordinate is negative, so that we will have the negative sign there. Okay? So tangent of t is going to be the adjacent, which is cosine, I'm sorry, it's not the adjacent, it's the opposite, which is minus square root of 1 minus cosine squared t all over um, the adjacent. So you'll look at this and you'll say, well, I think it's negative. Well, it actually, it's going to be positive because the cosine of, of uh, t is negative. So you'll, this will be negative and then divided by a negative divided by a negative is a positive, which is good because the tangent should have been positive in, in quadrant three.